up everyone, it's Rick here with UTVSource.com. Here she is, our 2021 Can-Am Defender HD10 Limited Edition. This thing's insane. It's taken a little while to get to this point, but it's been worth it. We've been enjoying this HD10 for quite some time now. Today we're out here at Hurricane Utah, Sand Hollow, UTV Takeover, and it's awesome. Now, if you've been following this build, we started with a stock HD10. It's seat six, it has air conditioning, power windows, heater, flip out front windshield. It's like a truck, it really is. It's a little bougie and I love it. All the parts are 100% bolt on. They came off our website at utvsource.com. You can do this to your HD10, just like we did in stages. One of the cool parts, one, because there's so many on this build, is this Thumper Fab front bumper. It has a flushed in 10 inch light. It's pretty rad. We relocated our factory winch on top of this bumper. The quality is next level. It's like truck grade quality. It's really nice. The form fit finish, welding powder coated, it's legit. Another thing we did on this HD10 Defender, and it's not yet available, but it will be, is the High Lifter Apex suspension system. So this is their new kit. It comes equipped with heavy duty ball joints already installed. It's adjustable on the lower arms. We can control all of the camber and caster on this. It's heavy, heavy duty. It's big boy stuff. It looks amazing. We chose to remove our sway bars on this because we upgraded it with shocks. This is the Zebras Racing Exit Shocks. It's valved for HD10. You can adjust it, you can set ride height, you can rebuild the shocks. It rides amazing, it really does. It's like a cloud. It's pretty rad. But that's not it. We also have high lifters, four inch portals on it. That gets us up. The suspension has also pushed it forward two inches so we can clear big tires. Speaking of tires, these are the brand new Obar Predator tires, 34 by 10, 15. They do great on the street. They do great in the rocks. They've been amazing. They're mounted on a set of Method V-Grip wheels. So this is kind of like a beadlock, but it's half the price. So if you guys are looking for a wheel and you're going through the motions, we got you covered. You don't need a bead lock ring on everything. We're not out jumping this thing. It's amazing, it looks amazing. Killed it on those wheels. Overall, if you look at this thing, it used to be blue. It's not blue anymore. We linked up with 518 Designs and we created this, this wrap. Now it's not over the top, it's just enough. It's kind of like that luxury, sexy look. And that's what we were going for. This thing's kind of high end. So they killed it and tinted all the windows. It's spot on, it looks good. Up top. This is the Monsters of the South Edition Bumper Fab Stage 5 Audio Room. It's insane. It's weather resistant. It's water resistant. It's made of aluminum. You can stand on it. It houses 10 Rockford Fosgate color optic speakers. Two of them are 10 inch subwoofers. The other eight provide all the mids and tweets you could ever, ever need in your UTV. It's all controlled on an overhead switch panel. It's pre-wired. It's bolt in. It's next level. Now we did modify ours. We gave it that UTV source look. The factory or the stage five comes with a 40 inch light bar and floodlights on the side. We outfitted it with 11, 11 KC highlights, flex era fours in spot combo and spot flood combos. It's a lot of lumens. It's more than enough. In fact, uh, it's so bright, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's over the top, guys. I think it looks amazing. We outfitted them in the blue rings. You can also get them in red, gold, or black. It's an option. You can upgrade these lights. We went the, the blue rings and uh, it just kind of fits well. Pretty stoked on that. Now, on the inside, we got power windows. We got air conditioning, we got heat, four wheel drive, locking diff, flip out front windshield, windshield wipers, 
We have this awesome assault steering wheel in suede. It's color matched with blue and silver. It looks, it looks amazing. It feels great too when you're going down the road. So, I mean, you're inside, you're just chilling. You got the Rockford Fosgate just banging down on you. Everything at your fingertip is pretty legit. It just puts a huge smile on my face. My kid loves this thing. Everyone loves this thing. It's rad. We did install some Dragonfire mirrors. We need to see what's behind us. I take this on, the, I've had this on the highway doing 65. I need to know where I'm at left or right. It's a big machine. Nailed it on that, looks great. I don't know, this thing's sick. It always puts a smile on my face and everyone's face who rides in it. I don't know, you're like a little kid when you're <laughs> It's, it's legit. So if we move to the back, you see the Apex suspension back here as well. It's a front and back kit. Portals, wheels, tires. What's this? This is a rugged topper's camper shell. Just like a truck. It's fiberglass, it's high quality, it's handmade. You can stand on it. It looks and functions just like a truck camper on your truck. Gas struts on the back, lockable. You got all the room to store all the goodies, really. Pick up the trash on your way out. Everything fits in here. We've put all of our gear in here. Anything and everything fits in here. It's got a truck tailgate still. It's pretty next level. Like this thing is insane. When you're done, this whole thing locks up. Pretty rad. To complement the front bumper, we have the Thumper Fab rear bumper with the optional winch, right? Same great high quality, flushed in, four inch lights in the back for backing up. We went with an Warren Axion 55S winch. This is like the biggest winch you could fit in here. In fact, we sandwiched it in there. We wanted big. This whole build was like big. And I think we nailed it. Everything fit in, bolted in, because everything on this is 100% bolted off the website at utpsource.com. Now you may be looking at the muffler. There isn't one. We chopped it off. I'll tell you why. We want a little more scoot, right? So we called up the boys at Force Turbo. Bryson's guys came out and they installed a turbo kit. Not only just a turbo kit, we put bigger fuel injectors in this and we tuned it. We spent some time on the clutching and we nailed it. You guys wanna see it? It's pretty cool. Everything works as it should. Just from the factory, you got your lift up tail, access to your engine bay, you've got your turbo in there. This was done in about two days. We took our time, we learned from these guys, and this added all the fun. Like that turbo put the biggest smile on my face. And the noise and the sound that comes off of it, <laughs> it's so rad. I mean, because you just don't get that in a Defender. So having this on this package with all the weight and the big tires and everything we've done to this, it's faster than stock. It really is, and it, it rips. It's easy to work on. I love it. I think it's, a, it's one of those builds. It's a little over the top, but it's hot. We've taken our time with it, we've done it right. At the end of the day, we ended up with probably, my opinion, one of the sickest HD10s out there. So you're gonna ask, is it heavy? No, it's not too bad. I'm a little guy. Locks back in, good job. Guys, thanks for tuning in on this build and the stories. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Remember to like and comment below, help us out. Get involved with us here at utvsource.com. And uh, tune into the stories. We got more builds coming. That's what we're good at. That's what we like doing. Get involved in those. If you get a chance, subscribe to our email list. A lot of cool stuff happens there, guys. Get on that. It's there for you. So uh, it's a beautiful day out here. We're gonna go out and we're gonna rip, have some fun. So thanks for tuning in. See you guys in the next one.